Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about the top 10 most used and or favorite bags of last year, 2019. I say most used because there were some bags that I got towards the end of the year that, you know, if you count by the number of times I carried them, because they're newer, some of the bags that I got are not technically the most used, but I they're still some of my favorite. <laughs> so. so the first is my Longchamp Le Pliage tote bag. Now I have three of these and I use I use all three of these. So this was the one I got last year from the Longchamp outlet. This is my original Le Pliage that I've had for years and years. You can see it is super, you know, kind of dirty and stained. I've used this as, as a diaper bag. I've used this on most of my travels. I'm a certified scuba diver. So I have gone on, you know, dive trips and you kind of just need to, a bag that's, you know, waterproof and you can keep all your stuff in here. So anyway, um, so yeah, I, I have used this. I really use this and you can see that it's, it's really wearing. Um, the threads are starting to come out on the sides and then the bottom has holes on the corners of almost all the corners and I mentioned in my very first video that I ever posted when I went to the Longchamp store and got this the sales associate advised that you can go to any Longchamp store and they will repair your bag a any Longchamp bag they will repair it once for free so I plan on bringing this in there is a Longchamp store in the city near me so I will do a video about that once I go there and get it done. So this is my first one. It's a lot softer than the one that I got last year, the Neo Tote. And then this is one of my other favorite bags. So I'd say of the three last year, this is the one I used the most. This is also the Le Pliage. I got it in navy. I got this from Nordstrom on sale last year. But what's great about this is it's the adjustable size. So it has a zipper and I leave it at its largest size the whole time. But what's great about this is, so this is great to use kind of as your personal item carry-on bag on the plane. But then when you're, you know, at your destination and you just want a purse to carry around with you and you don't want a huge tote bag, you can zip this up and this, you know, folds in. So it's a lot shorter. So then instead of being this big, huge bag, it's kind of this short. The Longchamp Le Pliage tote bags. So number nine is the base backpack. And I love this bag. If you're not familiar with Bass, I have an entire playlist of me singing their praises. This is a new, relatively new travel and accessories line um, created by Shay Mitchell. And I love this bag. This has been for most of my trips last year, which last year was the year of traveling for me. I, I traveled a lot for work and just also for other trips. And so for most of those trips, I used this bag as my carry-on bag, as my personal item bag. And so I'll link the video where I reviewed this in depth, but this is just such a great bag because it has a separate laptop compartment. It has these water bottle pockets on the side. It has a separate you know, compartment here. And then the entire bag, and I won't do it now, but definitely check it out. It zips all the way down around the bottom corner. And this entire bag opens up and lays flat. So this has been a great bag for travel, but also I use this for work because it has a laptop compartment. Earlier this year, I returned to work after being on maternity leave, um, after I had my third baby. I had a, I have three boys. And so when I went back to work, I was nursing, you know, still nursing. And so I would bring my pump and my cooler bag and it fit perfectly in here. It was perfect for work and perfect for traveling. So that is the base backpack. That's number nine. This is the base work tote. And I just did another updated review of this bag showing its wear and tear after using it for several months. This is a Louis Vuitton bandeau that I have styled um, on, the, on one of the straps, but I love this bag now for work. So again, I just showed the backpack, which was great for my needs earlier this year when I needed to bring a, a cooler bag for work. Now that I don't need to bring a cooler bag, I switched over to this style and I, I just love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I love the color. I love the croc finish. I love all the compartments. It has a slip pocket for a water bottle. It has this pocket out here for my work badge. It has another zip pocket here, which is where I keep my cell phone. And it zips at the top, completely closed. And then inside, it's also tons of compartments. It has a padded laptop compartment. It has a detachable pouch. The straps are pretty comfortable. And I just think it's so fashionable. And I can fit everything I need for work in one bag. So again, check out my videos where I go on and on about this. I love this bag for work and it's one of my most used bags because since I got it I pretty much used it almost every single day for work so that is number eight the base work tote my custom my world tour neverfull mm 
and I have shown this several times. I did an entire video about this once I, when I got it. I talked about all the custom stamps that I chose for it. It has my name. I love this Neverfull. I did have the Neverfull at one point in the GM and it was just too big and I, I couldn't I couldn't with the non-organization inside but I have a zippered organizer that I use with this and so this is just a great tote bag. I also love that it comes with its own little matching pouch with the same kind of corresponding stamps and even if I'm not using this I use this pouch all the time just as an organizer inside of whatever other bag I'm using it's a great you know kind of a catch-all and then because it's wider than a mini pochette I can carry my phone and my keys in this if I just need to run out real quick. Number six is my Louis Vuitton reverse pochette Matisse. I did an entire comparison and review video comparing this to the YSL collage Matt Lasse and the Coach Cassie. Um, yeah, I love this bag. I travel with this all the time. I use this as my, in addition to my personal carry-on bag, I have this just as my crossbody, like just on my person. So I can keep my phone, my uh, cell phone in here and then just my essentials. And then when I'm running around, you know, sightseeing or traveling, it's just great to be hands-free. I love crossbodies. Reverse push-up Matisse. Number five is the YSL Lou camera bag. This is the rouge color, which is more like a burgundy. I have shown this multiple, multiple times. I love the chevron design. I love the leather. I love how dark it is. I love the color. It just is a nice kind of a bright pop of color, but it still matches a lot of things. And I love burgundy. I, I wear this all the time. So it just matches a lot of things. But this is such a great bag because it's very small, but it fits a ton inside. Number four in my most used bags of 2019 is the Coach Cassie in Oxblood. And again, similar to the YSL Lou camera bag, I love this really deep color, the burgundy. It's almost black in certain lights, but it's it's not. So if I, if I wear all black, you can tell that this isn't black. Um, but yeah, here's a close up if you can if you have to see. But again, check out my comparison video. I love this slip pocket. It's huge. It's roomy. It's roomy inside. I just love this. I love the, this kind of reminds me of Chanel, the turn lock. I love the aged hardware. I love how soft it is. So this is what I use if I know I'm going to be outside like with my kids and I just don't want to worry about my pochette Matisse essentially um, getting dirty. I use this. It's a great alternative to the pochette Matisse if you like that style, but you want one that's a little more carefree, I definitely recommend getting the Coach Cassie. So number three is the Gucci Pink Blooms Boston bag. And this is in the smaller size. I love this bag. I love this print. It just, it sparks joy for me. I got the matching slides in the same Pink Blooms. I just love this collection. I got this from the Gucci outlet when I went to Woodbury Common Premium Outlets. And so they had a bunch of the Gucci Blooms collection, both in blue and pink, and I got something in blue and pink. So check out that video if you're interested. And then I got these slides that match this pink blooms. Similar to the Speedy in that it carries a ton. And I mentioned this in my created a tag last year called the If I Could Change One Thing tag video. And I mentioned how I love this style because it zips all the way around. I also mentioned this in my $10,000, if uh, if you only had $10,000 to spend on handbags for the rest of your life tag, this was what I would buy versus a Louis Vuitton Speedy because the zipper goes all the way around so it's a wider opening and then it already has the bandolier strap that comes with it. So, and I just, I love the print. It just is so bright and cheerful. It has feet on the bottom. I have the matching shoes. Is the Gucci Boston bag in the pink blooms pattern in the small size. Number two on the list is my Louis Vuitton Outdoor Messenger and I have it in the monogram eclipse here in uh, noir black. Um, I love this bag. It is from the men's collection but I have used it for myself. <laughs> I think it's a great mommy bag if you have a separate diaper bag for you know most of your kids stuff you can still carry this as a crossbody with all your essentials and it has you know I did a separate video reviewing this but it's great because it has this huge pocket on the front so this is where I keep my keys and um, my phone and everything and you know chapstick and stuff for me and then the main compartment can fit a ton of stuff and then it's great because it can fit diapers and wipes if you just need to run in and change your kids or if you don't have kids it's great also just because it it's really small but it carries a lot and it can be dressed up or down because I mentioned in my uh, best purchases of 2019 how I use this as a casual bag you know on the weekends when I'm running around you know running errands or whatever with my kids but then I used it going out I went to the theater and I wore all black you know a really nice black coat I had a Chanel brooch 
black boots, uh, my Gucci scarf. And then I had this because I wanted my hands free because it was freezing outside and I didn't want to have to be holding a purse separately. So I wore this and it's just so versatile. It's small, but it has a large capacity and I would definitely recommend checking this Number out. Number one on my list of most used and or favorite bags of 2019 is the reverse monogram on the go tote <laughs> from Louis Vuitton. I had kind of a disclaimer earlier because again, I just posted that I got this as my kind of a follow-up to my Christmas, uh, you know, what I got for Christmas. And even though I just got this at the very tail end of 2019, I have used it every single day for work since then. Um, here we are in January. And it is one of my favorite bags from last year, for sure. So it might not be my most used if you just count the you know the times I've used them just because I haven't had the opportunity to use it as many times since it's brand new. But if you extrapolate for the year based on how much I've used it since I got it, this would definitely be on the list of most used. I have used this for work every single day since I got it and it's just amazing this is great this is a great work tote it is not i mean some people for some people it's too big this is a perfect size for me for a work tote because i carry a lot inside i have again the purse bling zipped purse organizer and that's the extra jumbo size in red and it so it matches perfectly i tuck the shoulder straps in on the sides so I love the top handle, but then in the morning when my hands are full and I'm carrying, you know, my coffee and whatever, I do use the shoulder, the longer shoulder straps. So that's what's so great about this is you have the options to use, to carry this however you need to for your purposes. I love the contrast monogram print on both sides. Every side is different. It might not be my most used, but this is definitely my number one favorite bag from 2019. So that was my top 10 most used and or favorite bags of 2019. Even though I haven't used this as much compared to my other bags because it's brand new, this is definitely number one favorite bag of last year, 2019. And I think if I look at the end of the year for 2020, if I continue on this trajectory of <laughs> what bags I've used so far, this will definitely be my most used bag because I have been using it for work nonstop since I got it. So I hope you enjoyed this list and uh, I, th I hope you found it helpful that I ranked what I used. Um, let me know what were your most used bags from last year and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your day. Bye.